The Tacoma was first introduced as a compact pickup truck in 1995 after taking over for the Toyota Hilux, which was marketed in the US as simply the Toyota Pickup. The first generation started to make a name for Tacoma over the next decade, and in 2005 the second generation became available. It was much larger and more powerful and offered even more trims and configurations, trying to appeal to as many consumers as possible. Over the past 26 years, Toyota has improved the design, engine, performance, and safety to bring us the third generation Tacoma that we're reviewing today here on Full Throttle Car Reviews. Oh, Tony, man. You aren't kidding. It's a big difference, man. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Full Throttle Car Reviews. I'm really excited today to be taking a look at the third generation Toyota Tacoma, more specifically the 2019 Toyota Tacoma uh, TRD Off-Road sitting right behind me. Uh, I want to give a huge shout out to our sponsor for today's episode, uh, Billy. Thank you again, Billy, for letting us use your vehicle and review it today. Um, I'm really excited. I've actually been eyeing the Tacoma for quite some time, um, and I'm really looking forward to taking a look at the exterior, uh, the interior, the engine, the driving dynamics, taken out um, a little bit on, on the road today, um, as well as off the road if Billy lets us. Um, and just want to thank you guys again for tuning in. Uh, please hit that subscribe button and bell notification so you can stay tuned on all the content that we put out. Um, give us a like, thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, leave us a comment if y'all are looking for something uh, in future reviews. Would love to hear uh, all the feedback that you guys have. Thanks again for tuning in. Let's get started. So before we take a look at the exterior today, um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the price of pickups. One thing to consider when you're purchasing any vehicle, of course, is the price. Um, the price of trucks today is just they've gone out the roof um, it's crazy when you're looking at a full-size pickup you can easily be hitting the 50s 60s 70s even eighty thousand dollars for a vehicle uh, which is a lot of money if you're looking for something more affordable uh, more sensible but also of course reliable and safe the tacoma is a great mid-sized truck for a couple reasons Again, I've been eyeing Tacomas for a while. Um, when you're talking about mid-sized trucks, it's probably my favorite out there. You know, you look at the Ford Rangers, the Chevy Colorados, the uh, Jeep Gladiators of the world, Honda Ridgelines. They, they just don't have the same look and feel that Toyota offers, um, as well as the off-roading capabilities that, that this truck comes with. You're gonna have a improved suspension, uh, improved shocks, it's going to be raised a little bit. Of course, it'll come with the beefed up tires, um, crawl mode, multi-terrain select, um, all these different features uh, in this truck that really sets itself apart, as well as the look. I mean, if you look at this car um, with the gray and the black trim, the black wheels, and a couple of the modifications that Billy has done, it really sets itself apart on the road. I love seeing this truck around, uh, just the design of the, the color scheme. It's just a great looking truck overall. So starting with the exterior, and you can tell today that our sponsor really likes his mods. Uh, I think we can all appreciate that. Um, but one, one of the biggest outliers here is gonna be the grill. So on the Toyota Tacoma uh, TRD, um, it's gonna come with the gray uh, grill as the stock. That, that's what you get by default when you purchase the vehicle. He has upgraded it to the TRD um, Toyota grill. He's also added a couple of um, grill lights. As you can see, these light up and he has a control inside where he can turn them on, on and off. Uh, they look really good. Again, coming down the street, it looks like a really sharp looking truck. Um, another thing that he has done that makes, makes it pop is gonna be the, um, the fog light um, cover itself. So he switched that out with the yellow. Um, again, just the color scheme overall with the gray, the black trim, the orange and the yellow kind of making things stick out. Um, it, it just looks really, really nice. Another thing that he's done is he uh, switched out the skid plate. So um, on the TRD version, it's gonna come with that skid plate. It's pretty thin. Talking with Billy, he's gotta remove it to change out the oil. Um, you actually have to take the entire thing off. And with this new TRD skid plate, you don't have to do that, which is a nice feature. It offers more protection as well as the look uh, of the plate itself. It just looks really, really nice. Um, and I, I think he would highly recommend that to anybody who's looking into the Tacomas. So just moving down the side here, I do want to point out a couple of things real quick. Um, the tires that Billy has on this are the TRD uh, BF Goodrich KO2 uh, all-terrain uh, tires. They handle really well on and off the road. Uh, he would definitely recommend these over the ones that you normally get. You're also going to have the step for every single door. It serves a, a good purpose, obviously, with the car being raised a little bit higher. 
Um, it's nice to get in and out of the vehicle a lot easier um, and more safely. So taking a look at the rear here, uh, you're going to notice a couple of modifications that Billy has done. Um, one of the, the biggest things is going to be the Tacoma uh, lettering across. So typically you just have that indentation, um, but he went ahead and purchased the letters to make it again pop out a little bit and I, I think it looks really nice. Um, the V6, uh, that does come standard, but he, he did black this out um, again to keep up with the, the color uh, scheme uh, across the vehicle. Um, a couple of extra modifications that he's done. Um, so he's got the rugged cover too here to cover the whole bed. Um, this is a five foot bed. So pretty, um, pretty, pretty much what you would expect with a mid-sized truck. Um, one of the nice features is this thing doesn't just slam down. So you notice when I open that, open the, the, the tailgate up, and you just open it, you can like let it kind of drop itself really slowly so it doesn't just fall down, you know, and, and like land on you. Um, but the, the bed, again, it's a five foot bed. A uh, couple other modifications that he's done. He's got the mountain hatch uh, bed liner. Um, this is really cool. It's camping ready, so you can prepare food on it. It's got some cup holders on the right. Um, and it's just a really nice addition to, to have out there if you are taking this truck camping or, or out somewhere uh, where you might need that. Um, some of the features of the bed, um, again, he's got a liner in the back, so that's gonna add extra protection uh, as well as uh, stability and traction if you're working in and out of the vehicle. Um, and it has a, uh, an outlet, so that's just a regular household plug. Um, so again, super helpful if you are working out of the, the back of the truck. Um, and then a little compartment cubby that you can use and, and stick things into if you want that extra storage space. So stepping into the uh, Toyota Tacoma, you'll notice immediately it has a lot of room. Um, you could comfortably sit four full-size adults in this truck. Um, and the seats in the back actually fold down so you can get a lot more storage space in the rear of the vehicle as well. Um, Billy has done a couple of really cool modifications to this car. Um, you'll notice he's got the TRD start stop uh, button uh, on the car. It's not the black button it normally comes with. He, he's got the red piece put in there so kind of sticks out. He's got a couple of modifications on the left to control lighting. Um, so he's got grill LED lights, he's got footwell lights, and then the grill lights. So these switches control all three of those. The steering wheel has a really nice feel for it. I like Toyota steering wheels. Um, you have the controls laid out in a way that makes sense. It's got a really nice feel to it. Um, and then of course, you know, the controls, you got audio, phone, um, you can control the music, control some of the infotainment system, um, as well as cruise and some of the, the safety features that come with this car. Um, the display, I, again, I, I like the analog gauges that cars have. You know, I like that um, that look to it. You know, digital displays are nice, but this one has a good mix of the analog gauges as well as the little media center. One of the coolest features um, in, in the little uh, media center um, is the roll and, and pitch uh, control. Um, and it's a really cool feature because it's going to show you how much the car is tilting one way or the other. So obviously, again, TRD Tacoma. Um, off-road version specifically, you're going to be taking this vehicle off the road or off the pavement um, and you're going to be wanting to keep an eye on that and it, it is a nice feature to have right there in front of you. So up top here, you're going to have a couple of um, controls, of course the lighting within the vehicle itself, you got the sunroof um, as well as the uh, window in the back, um, you got the rear locking uh, differential uh, control as well as the uh, traction stability control. Um, and then a couple of the more off-road features. So the, the multi-terrain select, so you can kind of cycle through there and pick and choose which terrain you're trying to, trying to conquer um, you know, during your drive, um, as well as the crawl control, uh, which is a really cool feature on the TRD off-road version. Um, essentially what it does is it will control the acceleration and how the wheels move as you're trying to uh, get out of maybe some sand or something that you're you're having some trouble getting out of. Um, so the crawl feature is really cool. Um, putting, you know, enabling that really gives more control to the car of trying to get you out of a sticky situation. Um, so that is a really nice feature that Toyota has added. So the Toyota infotainment system in here, it's gonna be a seven inch display. Um, pretty standard, what you typically see in Toyota. Uh, he does have the JBL uh, speaker, so it's gonna sound a little bit better than the stock version. It is a touch screen, you got a couple knobs, one on the left and one on the right that you can use as well. Um, you can stream music over Bluetooth or plug it in. You got a USB um, plug option as well you can use. Inside this uh, 2019 Toyota Tacoma, 
Um, you're going to have a three and a half liter V6, um, six speed transmission. Um, from what I've heard, there's a lot of shifting involved, you know, when you're accelerating um, and whatnot, you know, out on the road. Um, so one cool modification that Billy's done is he's installed a pedal commander. Um, and that just helps with a lot of those different um, aspects when you are taking the car out. Um, it helps with the shifting control um, and the acceleration. And I'm really excited to, to take a look at that here once we get this baby out on the road. Alrighty, so Billy and I are taking out the Toyota Tacoma TRD off-road, on the road right now. I love the way this truck just rides. It's really smooth. It's got really good handling. I've noticed the turning radius is, is pretty decent too, considering it's a truck. I almost feel like I'm in the Camry. It's nice sitting up taller too. <laughs> um, right now he doesn't have the pedal commander enabled, but he's going to turn that on for us here in a second. So what are the different modes that are available, Billy? Uh, there's Sport, Sport Plus, City, and Eco. Gotcha. And you can control it from your phone. Right, you control it from the module itself or from your phone. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I told you, man. You weren't kidding. It makes a big difference, man. It does, man. That's awesome. <laughs> so Sport Plus, Plus 4. What do the numbers mean? 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, this is the different levels. Like, you can do Ego 1, Ego 2, Ego 3, Ego 4. <laughs> or you can do sport plus one, two, three, four. I have it turned all the way up right now. Oh, that's wild. That, that is a nifty little gadget. <laughs> but like they say, like this isn't for like your everyday traffic driving. How's the gas mileage when you put it in this mode? I'm sure it sucks. I haven't checked it, but I'm sure it sucks. <laughs> terrible, just terrible. Yeah, I'm sure it's terrible. So one thing to keep in mind uh, with the Tacomas are the seats sit a little low um, by default. So Billy actually had the driver's seat raised a little bit, but um, so I'm sitting up a little bit higher as you can tell. Visibility though is great out this vehicle. I mean, I feel like I have 360 visibility, um, able to see all pretty much all angles. Of course, you know, backing up, he's got the backup camera too, so that definitely helps with a larger size vehicle, mid-size truck. Um, driving wise it feels really nice uh, handles real well on the road uh, the pedal commander definitely adds a little bit more thrill to it than what you normally get with the Tacoma um, but really awesome vehicle so far let's see what it can do off the road The Tacoma TRD off-road handles really well on and off the road. The multi-terrain select system and the four-wheel drive capability enabled the truck to get up the hill we tested it on pretty easily. On the road, the car is very comfortable to drive, and the pedal commander is a nice touch for those looking for more acceleration. Overall, this is a reliable off-roading mid-sized truck, and again, my personal favorite one out there. If you're interested in sponsoring and even being a part of an episode, please reach out to us here at Full Throttle Car Reviews. We'd love to feature your car. Thanks again for tuning in and please subscribe if you haven't already. We appreciate you joining us today and thanks again for watching this episode of Full Throttle Car Reviews.